Alrighty, it is going down, ladies and gentlemen. Beautiful day in the neighborhood. We got to go ahead and bring one of our friends up into the neighborhood right now. Dr. Dre is in the hood. What up, Dre? What's up? How y'all doing? Man, we are doing very well. First off, we got to say welcome back to the neighborhood, Dr. Dre. And it is truly a pleasure to talk with you, my man. I appreciate it, man. Thanks for having me. Hey, man. Now, for those out there, man, detox is about to go down. For some reason, Dre, we seem like we're closer to detox than we've ever been. Oh, yeah, absolutely. I'm, um, I see the finish line right now. I'm, I'm wrapping it up. I need about two or three more songs, and hopefully I'll start the mixing process at the end of next month. And then um, from that point, I'm about 30 days out, you know, so... Mm. I'm um, I'm excited about it. I was going to ask, are you excited? Because I know we are. Yeah, man, I'm, I'm seriously excited about it. It's feeling good now. And, you know, one of the reasons why it was taking so long, because I felt like I was doing it more out of obligation opposed to just really feeling it. And, um, you know, as of last year, I've been really feeling where, the, where it's going, and it, and, it, and it feels good, and I think I'm ready. Dr. Dre, who is on the detox roster? Um, you know what? I'd rather just keep that a little confidential right now, but um, it's, there's definitely some special guests. There's a, a lot of people that were involved with me with my last two albums, and um, I'm just I'm just feeling real good about it. And um, yeah, hopefully I won't disappoint. Man, now I'm going to name a couple names. Can you just go ding or ant? Eh? Okay, uh, Snoop Dogg. Why, why are you doing that? You, you I'll just, I'm just ding, come on. All right, Snoop Dogg. <laughs> Uh, you know, you know, I'm there, Snoop. Uh, you know what? I actually need a few more songs with Snoop, and I'm I'm going to see him today. We're going to sit and talk about it. I'm um, I want him to be involved in some more songs, and I'm going to do some some things for his new record, and um, let's try to get this West Coast thing popping again. Hey, Dre, now let me tell you, man. Now we got a record in the neighborhood, man. That the label got to us, man, and it's called Kush. Yeah. Now, Kush was a record, man, in the business. Was that record leaked without Dr. Dre's knowledge? Yes, yeah, you know, uh, you know, we're a little bit unfortunate with the technology today. It got leaked, and um, there was a version of it that leaked that I wasn't really happy about. So we're going to go on and push it and put it out because everybody seems to like it. Yeah. You know, I, I just thought, like, the content, it's about weed smoking, and I don't want people to think that that's what my album is about. This is actually the only song with that type of content in it. But um, it seems that everybody likes it, so we're going to go on and push with it right And here. And that one right there, man, that one is called Kush. And Kush is with Dr. Dre, Snoop Dogg. I hear some Nate Dogg on there, and I hear some Akon. Well, Nate, Nate isn't actually on the song. No? I haven't had a chance to work with Nate. Just oh. It sounds like Nate, though. So wow. He's another friend that I've been working with named Sly. Mm. And, uh, yeah, it's, uh, it's, it's a good song. I think everybody's going to get into it. Wow. Okay, man. I really stand corrected, then, man. I really stand cor corrected. So, so we. Yeah, could I wish I could have had my man Nate in there on it, man. But you know, he's yeah. uh, having some some medical issues right yeah, now. Yeah, man. But, uh, you know, hopefully before it's done, we'll see. All righty, man. So, so with this with this cut being so called leaked, man. Well, no, leaked. That does that kind of force your hand where you say, okay, and it sounds like you had to kind of put it out and people are enjoying it, but the record is Kush, and you saying that the whole album isn't filled with that, but we get a chance to go ahead and hold on to this one and play it for yeah, everybody. Yeah, this is actually, it's one song with its own sound, and it, it's not a representation of what the album is, but it's definitely going to be on the record, and it's a good song, so, um, you know, there it is. You know, unfortunately, like I said with the technology today, you got to be real careful, and these hackers are crafty, man. Yeah, man. <laughs> Very, hey, Dre, are, are you ready for this ride once? again, man, like 2011, yeah. we get detox. Are you ready for this? I'm ready. I'm ready. I'm ready to go. Like I said, I'm feeling good. I'm healthy. I'm looking good, and I'm ready to give them what they want, you know? Like I said, man, I, I just want to make sure I don't um, <laughs> give them that uh, anti-disappointment, you right. know what I mean? Mm. So... <laughs> I'm just, um, I'm, I'm ready. Let's do it. Do we get 100%? And not that we're not on the album, but I'm saying, do we get the videos? Do we get the tour? Do we get everything that will come with Detox? Yeah, we're planning on doing maybe about six six videos, and um, we've been talking about touring. I'm not positive about that, but I definitely want to do it. I was excited when I got a chance to go and get down with Jay-Z and Eminem in Detroit and now in, um, in a Yankee Stadium and to hear 50,000.